So if you make one trade in the stock market, all the time it took you to analyze the deal, and every other deal you decided not to do, and then execute the trade, and then raise the money and do all the other stuff, that is all the time that it took you to do that. Now, after that point, you have increasing returns per unit of time. Is this making sense? The point I'm making here is that time is the thing. There you go. Degrees, all that. <laughs> so leverage is the difference between what you put in and what you get out. There are fancy definitions for it. This is the best one that I have. And so I said I would cover three things. The first one is how making money really works. The answer to that question is leverage. You make more money by trading your time for more shit, more output. The second is why new stuff is making you poor. And this is especially relevant for everyone here. Part of this, again, was inspired by the conversations I was having last night at Yogurtland. So thank you for everybody who showed up for that. This is also how not to get leverage. And I felt compelled to make this because I hope that some of you identify with this because I would bet that the majority of you are doing this. How not to get leverage. There are five pieces to this that I want to break down today. Number one, uninformed optimism. Number two is a story I'll tell you about a construction buddy of mine. Number three is something I call the magic wand story. 